Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neomer here with some more Cards of Valor content. And today I will be making a tutorial. Yes, I will be showing you how to make dynamite. Dynamite! <laughs> the time has finally come. Uh, this is an advanced recipe in Cards of Valor Tropical Island. Uh, I will go through the prerequisites of what you need to know to already make uh, in order to make the dynamite. And I will also show you how to create it. Uh, namely, I will go mostly in detail how to create Aqua Fortis. Make sure to check the timestamps uh, below the video if you want to skip any step and go to something that you're interested in. So prerequisites, oh those pesky pesky prerequisites, but still in order to make dynamite you will need to like tech up a little bit in this game. You will need access to a sharp knife, you will need some fat from an animal, you will need uh, access to neater crystals, for salt pepper. You can get that in two ways, uh, either from Jungle Highlands Bat Cave or by growing your own salt pepper in nether beds. You'll need access to Volcano Acid Lake. You will need uh, to tech up in pottery, namely you will need to create an alembic and a glazed vase. And yeah, that's it. That's not many things, right? No problem, no problem at all. Okay, if you take a look at the dynamite recipe, we will see we need a number of items here. Uh, first, I will be talking about the Aqua Fortis. It is by far the most complicated one, and this part I will show how to make step by step. Uh, you will need an Alembic, uh, you will need a glazed vase. Uh, here you can see the blueprints. You unlock this by advancing in pottery uh, to make both. You will need to unlock and create a clay vase and a clay pot cooler. Uh, other than that, you will need to go and grab some um, vitriol from the acid lake. I already have some vitriol here, but I will go and grab some more for you. Uh, vitriol is located in the volcano region and it's uh, optional, but highly recommended that you protect yourself from the gas fumes. Uh, you do that by creating a piece of large cloth and then you can make a makeshift mask. You can also make a proper gas mask, but that's a little bit outside the you know, boundaries of this tutorial. This will do for now, this will do. I will grab one glazed vase, I will grab my makeshift mask and I will grab some water. Uh, there we go. And yeah, right now we are in Jungle Highlands, so I will be showing you one way how to get to the acid lake here. It is not the only way, but it is the way I prefer. So that's what I'm going to be showing you here. So from Jungle Highlands, uh, you can uh, explore to find Western Highlands. If you explore Western Highlands, uh, you can find Eastern Highlands. And then finally, by exploring the Eastern Highlands, you can find the volcano. Just make sure that when you're exploring, there's going to be some wild animals, cobras and stuff. So make sure you have water with you to be able to wash your eyes. So I'm going to enter the volcano now and we can talk about the, the fumes. So this thing has mild air toxicity. That means it damages your lungs. Uh, lungs do heal over time, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But it's definitely not a good thing if you damage them too much. Uh, so if you equip your makeshift mask and if you wash yourself in water. OK, well, we get the gift. Let's just ignore that. If you wash yourself in water, the makeshift mask will get wet and the air toxicity will go away. So you'll get fully protected so you can fully explore the volcano by using the makeshift mask and, and some water. After you find the acid lake, you can enter it. And this place is a little bit more toxic. So if you go here, you can see that the makeshift mask does help, but uh, the acid lake here is a little bit too powerful. So your lung damage will start going up again. So you can explore this area a couple of times and you will be able to find some uh, vitriol. You'll find uh, like the source of vitriol and you can use your um, Glazed vase to pick it up. Uh, you will need to empty it first, of course. And then you can go and grab it. It seems like this thing has like a very limited capacity. I will ask developers what's up with that. But most of the times there is going to be enough for one full vase. I just don't know why it goes up to 2% and then stops. Anyway, let's head back. Cool. So yeah, that's going to be it for vitriol. And let's go to the next step. The next step will be adding a salt pepper to vitriol. So to make the salt pepper, you will need to find some neater crystals. The first time you find your uh, bat cave here in the jungle highlands, there's gonna be three neater crystals inside it. 
and uh, there's also gonna be some guano and stuff but anyway grab your nether crystals you can make it out of that you can also like i already said create a nether bed uh, nether bed is an advanced herbology thing you need to raise your herbology quite a lot and then you will need some clay manure and lye to make it and then some more lye to actually keep uh, watering it with it and after a pretty long time actually you will grow some nether crystals but uh, you will be able to make kind of like a few pieces of dynamite with what you find in the bat cave. So unless you need more than like a couple, you will need not need to do this actually. Anyway, uh, let's go into the <laughs> moat and drawbridge. This is actually my cellar, by the way. And uh, I'm gonna need a piece of stone. There we go. So you crash the nether crystals. You ground them. You actually get three salt pepper from it. So you can get nine salt pepper from three nether crystals. Not sure how many dynamite that is, but I'm gonna say it's a lot. It's a lot. So you place the salt pepper into the vitriol. It's gonna dissolve it and you're gonna get dissolved nether. Well, now comes the tricky part. Well, time waits for no one. It's dark, so we'll not be able to do much more without some light. So we're gonna light up the fire here. There we go. This is not part of the tutorial, but it's necessary. Anyway, you're gonna need to put the soft nether into an alembic. Uh, you will need an alembic, of course. You need to place the alembic on top of your campfire. There we go. Then you get an alembic on a campfire thing, which can do all kinds of wonderful thing in this game. And one of them is actually turning the soft nether into aqua fortis. Hell yeah. Anyway, fill it up and uh, put the glazed vase inside and then you need to wait for all of this um, dissolved nether to get uh, distilled into aqua fortis so five or six hours have passed we had a nice snap and uh, aqua fortis is done so you can take it out of our alembic here and we can see that it filled up the glazed vase a little bit more than a half here and uh, it's also spoiling like super super fast and we have the dynamite recipe here so we're gonna need some wood shavings so finally this is where you're gonna need your sharp knife so if you interact your sharp knife with a uh, some wood you're gonna get some wood shavings there we go sometimes you get one sometimes two and so on then uh, you can get some fat any knife will do you will need an animal which has fat in it so you can use a boar you can use a um, goat you can use, I don't know, Makaki maybe has some? I don't think so, really. But anyway, we're gonna use a boar here. I'm gonna assume you know how to get fat. So we're gonna kill it, we're gonna skin it, and this thing's spoiling, but uh, we're gonna get some fat. There we go. So that's the fat. Uh, you're gonna need also some cord and you need to, you're gonna need some fresh water and that's it that's all you really need so we're gonna put fat in you're gonna put some aqua fortis so this is i don't know if this is enough for two portions we're gonna see soon uh let's see let's see we're gonna need you can i already have everything here so I'm just gonna click this button so yeah some water aqua fortis fiber cord fat and wood shavings and uh bam gonna create a dynamite here and I'm just gonna go and check if we can create another one I'm never sure about that it doesn't seem like we can this thing is down to 18% so there's gonna be no way so if you want to be more efficient with your dynamite you will want to create uh, multiples of aqua fortices at once so you can make multiples of dynamite and yeah that's gonna conclude this tutorial. The dynamite is complete. You can let me know in the comments below if you have any extra questions or so. You can use this bad boy to blow up makaki dance. You can use it to blow up fish. You can use it to blow up obstacles inside the cavern system. It's 100% safe to use. Uh, you use it by lighting it up. You're gonna need some wood shavings and something to start them up. Or well, any, any tinder really. And then you light it up and uh, then you can interact it with some things let me see so we actually have a makaki down here oh we cannot interact okay but yeah anyway uh hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial hopefully it would it was informative you can let me know what is the next thing you would like to see and if not i'm gonna figure out something myself if there's no target for your lovely lovely uh stick of happiness here you can extinguish it as well you can never blow yourself up have a wonderful day everyone do something nice be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place together thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next episode the new member signing out bye bye so psh, they're not expecting this they are changing the guard 
the young young makaki high are going to sleep they are guarding over the day and the new ones are coming in they are doing the change of the guard now everyone's there they're changing the shift before the night falls and well now is the best time to introduce them to why humans are superior here revenge exclamation mark duration 15 minutes <laughs> 